Batman hates Asians? That's what we're talking about today. Welcome back to the studio. My name's Gothic Arch, creator of Blue Phoenix graphic novel. The new movie, The Batman, came under fire this week for apparently hating Asians. I went and saw The Batman a couple days ago, and it was quite a different take on Batman and the past movies that they've made. I will not be giving any spoilers in this video. This is just about an article some people are coming out and claiming that Bat Batman hates Asians, the Batman movie hates Asians, which, like everything that these people say, make absolutely zero sense. It was definitely an interesting movie. I think you should go see it. It was it was pretty cool and it wasn't, you know, there wasn't too much woke stuff in it. I feel like the movie wasn't woke enough for people, so they are trying to go after it. This is a comicbook.com article. The Batman comes under criticism for intensive scene. Mm. The Batman had a successful opening weekend and seems to be an overall hit with fans. That's the problem there. I think that that's the problem. You know, if it was their kind of movie that they would enjoy, uh, it would not be a hit with fans. We've seen that over and over again. However, one scene from director Matt Reeves' reboot is now sparking debate among viewers. Well, among uh, people on Twitter that don't really matter. So don't read this article on the screen if you don't want spoilers. I guess there's spoilers. But yeah, this, this scene was in the trailer and there's not much to it really. Uh, one of the opening scenes of the Batman sees an ordinary Gotham citizen tried to take the train home on Halloween night only to be swarmed by a face-painted gang of thugs looking to pull off a murder initiation ritual. Batman of course arrives and beats down the gang before they kill the man, but Batman is far from being a sympathetic savior, arguably frightening the citizen as much as the gang does. <laughs> right? So, uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'd rather be frightened a little bit by a man in a bat suit than be killed. So I think, I think the guy got the best out of this. The early sequence of Batman has been upsetting, upsetting to some viewers of Asian or Pacific Islander descent, as the gang targets an Asian man for their deadly rite of passage at a time when Asian Americans have been seeing a particularly high spike in violence directed towards them. Some viewers and even critics felt the scene was intensive at best, offensive at worst. Batman saving an Asian man from a gang of thugs is now offensive. How? How? How is it offensive? How is... How have we come to this point right now in our society that Batman saving an Asian dude from a gang of thugs is offensive now? Well, maybe it made people think about, you know, the real life stuff that's been happening lately like that knockout game that knockout game that these cowards you know these kids on the street will go up to uh older people and punch them as hard as they can basically and and uh see if they can knock them out which is definitely something that a coward does and i would like a batman to go out and beat the shit out of them like he did in this movie <laughs> like it was nice to see that that's that's what people that's what people want to see but anything that relates to anything that happened in real life like that apparently triggers people you know grow some thicker skin man i mean it's really ridiculous that we're even talking about this right now but this you know this stuff keeps coming up someone on twitter said i'm not inherently opposed to the concept of using loaded imagery imagery in a film invoking real life events is something that is up to the prerogative of any filmmaker but it's my prerogative as a viewer to evaluate the efficiency of it and was it worth it my personal bar it's okay for a movie to use triggering imagery oh my god if it has something to say about the topic but the batman has absolutely nothing to say about hashtag stop asian hate other than white people need to do more than just beat the shit out of assailants. I think the movie said a lot. I mean, it said, you know, you're going to get your ass kicked by Batman really bad if you uh, attack Asian people. The people that would have a complaint about this see everything in like a twisted way that they see B Bizarro World. It's 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 insane of all the things to complain about the new batman movie you know that there, there were there were some things to complain about the new batman movie it was three hours long i mean complain about that anything but 
Batman saving an Asian man's life. Look at this guy on Twitter too. He said, I'm half Asian and my mom has been assaulted verbally and physically in public. I actually took the opposite point of view. I wish someone had intervened, white or otherwise, when my mom was by herself being cussed at by groups of people. Heroes are meant to stand up for the bully. That's right. Yeah, that's, you know, any sane person would see it like that. It was a, it was a great scene, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it says enough to have Batman beat up these little shitheads that are harassing an Asian dude. This viewer correctly points out that the Batman was made in the crucible of the Koof. I can't say that word of the Koof and the resulting increase in Asian hate crimes that inspired. It's not uncommon for movies to be inspired by real life events like that. Uh, real life crime, you know, that, that was a thing that was going on. But again, the uh, media made it out to be like it was trump supporters doing these hate crimes against asians instead of gang member thugs like in the batman so that's probably why if all these guys had a red hat on and they were assaulting an asian it would be a completely different story these people that are complaining about it would be like oh hell yeah yeah beat those guys you know it was more close to real life than that so that's good i did enjoy that scene i was you know i was like i was like yeah get beat their asses uh it, it was a it was a good scene that is basically the gist of this article just a bunch of people arguing on twitter like they do every single day i suggest you go see the movie a lot of people are complaining about this movie too but you know just go watch it and make your own opinion go see it and let me know what you thought down in the comments i liked it you know it, it wasn't a perfect movie of course but it was definitely something different. It reminded me of the old Detective Comics, Batman. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. You get weekly content. I will uh, bring you more either cool or funny stories like this. I think this is pretty hilarious. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.